Market capitalization, or market cap for short, is calculated by multiplying price per share and outstanding shares. So I'll go over what these two things mean one by one. Let's start with price per share. The price per share is what you see when you check a company's stock. It is the price of a single share. If you don't know how to check that, just watch our how to check stocks video right over here. So now let's move on to the next term. Outstanding shares are the total number of shares that are currently being held. So basically, it's how many pieces the company has been split into. Market cap is the price of a single share times the number of shares. Many people say that the market cap indicates how much a company is worth or the value of a company. I disagree with this. Why do I disagree with this? Let's ask Warren Buffett. The market cap would be what you pay to purchase all the company's shares. So therefore, the whole company. But being value investors, we know that the value of a company almost always differs from the cost of a company. That's why it annoys me when people say the market cap is what a company is worth. It's not what a company is worth. It's what a company costs. Companies with big market capitalizations and small market capitalizations are referred to as big cap and small cap. Different market caps just mean that companies are of different sizes. It is said that big caps are less risky and small caps are more risky. I personally think that this is a bunch of nonsense. If an investor finds a company that is selling below its value, the investor should buy the company. And if there's a company that is selling above its value, it should be ignored.